Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be talking about a digestive gland which is known as the pancreas. Pancreas, this is the second largest gland of the human body and the largest gland we have discussed is the liver. After liver, the second largest gland of the human body is the pancreas. This is situated between the limbs of the U-shaped duodenum. As you can see, this is the duodenum region that is the starting portion of the small intestine. It is present between the two limbs of the uh, duodenum, right? This is heterocline gland. That is, they can act as both type of glands like exocrine gland and the endocrine. So, they are basically exocrine and as well as endocrine in function. So, what do we mean by exocrine gland or exocrine in function? Exocrine means that these glands, they secrete or they put their secretions into a particular duct and not openly into the bloodstream. Whereas the endocrine glands, so these are the glands which can secrete its secretions into the bloodstream directly and not into the duct. So, pancreas, it can act both as a exocrine portion, exocrine in function and they can be endocrine in function also. The exocrine part of the pancreas, it is made up of a large number of lobules and these are also known as acne. Each lobule of the pancreas, this is made up of a number of glandular cells and these glandular cells, they produces the pancreatic juices. Now, these pancreatic juices, they contain various digestive enzymes which are responsible for breaking down complex food materials into simpler ones that can be easily digested and absorbed into the bloodstream and hence can be utilized by the cells and the tissues of our body to produce energy. Now, the endocrine portion of the pancreas, it produces hormones like insulin and glucagon. We know insulin and glucagon, they play a major role in controlling or regulating the body sugar levels. The bile and the pancreatic duct, they together open into the duodenum region. This is the portion where they both together open into the duodenum and this common place is known as the hepatopancreatic duct. And this is again regulated or guarded by a sphincter muscle, which is known as the sphincter of OD, right? So, in this video, we have talked about a digestive gland, which is called pancreas. We have talked about the endocrine and the exocrine function of the pancreas also. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.